Hello and welcome to my presentation on the history of the jab and throw. My student number is 22017768 and this is for the, tech, the module of technology and innovation of sport and exercise science. Harris described the jab and throw as one of the most noticeable oldest athletic events, dating back to the ancient Greeks. Ultimately used in a battle and fighting environment, but more evidently it was the use of a thong that increased the leverage and force. Since the early days of the event, the whole dimension of the sport have evolved from the clothing, equipment, training, measurement, technology and analysis. Within this website, I will be addressing the key points of history that make the event what it is today, and more, important, and more importantly, the people that have changed the sport and the technology that influences the elite athletes that compete today. Neptune et al. summarises that the advanced modelling and simulation techniques are powerful tools to gain insight into the performance limits, optimal equipment designs, and mechanisms that, lead, that may lead to injury. This website will follow the progression of the sport from its foundation stage through to the aspects that, aspects that have major influence today. David Epstein from TED Talks Lecture quoted that the technology has changed the face of performance. There has been various key moments within the last century that have affected the jab and throw. The website and poster will offer various information on the following topics. The history, so the progression of the sport from the early stages into the present day. Clothing, aerodynamic, the spikes used, the equipment and the javelins. Competitions, so how many there are over the course of the year, the Olympics, World Championships, and the actual changes uh, in the formality of these. Training, so more specific, and uh, since the development of needs analysis. Changes in a better understanding of how the stress of what the uh, athletes go through, obviously, to prevent injuries. Analysis, such as going through various performance analysis programs, such as Dartfish, technique can be anal analysed through sort of various components. And the type of media as well, so super slow replays, um, breaking it down frame by frame. The target audience for my website is going to be revolved around athletes and coaches. These are the people who want to have a better understanding of the sport. The current market, there are various websites as well, however they offer less information, that, less information and are less informative than what I'm planning to do. I hope to achieve this through the aesthetics, obviously being very visually engaging and stimulating uh, on the eye, and also very relatable, so there'll be social media and current media links that can display this information. The language I'm going to use is going to be easy to understand, simple and effective. Kralish and Coppen stated that the language proficiency appears to be positively correlated to the number of page requests and users who perceive a larger internet offer more satisfied with the website. The aims on my website are to provide an informative hub that enhances the uh, user experience. From the moment they access the content, it will be visually stimulating, exciting, whilst holding an easy navigational experience. I want the audience to come away with something that they didn't have to start with. May this be in the form of facts, figures, watching media content, training tips, or even simply browsing. I want, them, I want to offer an alternative information hub that is compared to the current websites that are already out there. The BBC Sport website and the IAAF are two websites that I'm going to be using as influences for mine. They both possess various different media contents and show three distinct columns. They also have white with black text and also incorporate social media. These are, this is something that I'm going to look to include in mine. The website framework from the picture on the left hand side is the initial drawing. At the very top you can see there's the title and logo followed down by a drop down menu with the home latest news, history, competitions, training, performance and equipment. These are going to be the key areas that I'm going to be focusing on. I want to retain the home experience while still having other media aspects still available to the user. This will then go down to a video reel with photos, event calendar, current international standings and then finally, research papers. This would be closely linked to either PubMed or other leading research uh, material. Courtesy of Draw.io, this is my website navigation and flowchart. The same colour schemes will be used throughout the website as I want consistency, and I want this to add to the user experience and for the audience to visit again. Brady and Phillips state that the harmony of the web page is, is, is a desirable effect. Balance and colour are things that influence this. A common theme that emerged from the study was the importance of colour. 
Hall and Hanna concluded and recommended that black on white text should be used for educational purposes relating to retention. And for aesthetics, combining colours including blue enhance a positive effect for behavioural intention. I have three types of media that I'll be using within this. Videos. These will be accessed through popular search engines such as YouTube and Vimo, following themes and interests with the aims and relevant content. Photos will be used, frame by frame breakdown, offering for analysis purposes and key people who change the, st uh, the sport. And animation. This may be considered providing it has a positive effect on the audience and a relatable cause. The type of animation that I'll be using within my website will solely depend on the relatable experience it brings. This is, these are just some of the academic literature that I'll be including and helping me with my, with my research. These follow various different themes such as the physiology, nutrition, training and also the history. Here is a timeline that I'm going to be using. And as you can see, there's various key points that I want to adhere to to ensure that no area gets compromised by any other. Some of the potential problems with the web website that I could experience would be an, would be an under-experience use within, within the software. The colour schemes used, usability within the interface, influences that are professional, setting the bar to too high, timeline may not be effective, the use of media, quantity of information and no previous feedback. I plan to overcome these problems with very various possibilities. Putting in the hours and seeking advice may eliminate being under-experienced with the software. Further research and trial and error for colour schemes and again trial and error with the usability and interface of web pages. Identifying strengths and weaknesses and a plan accordingly. Within this presentation I have summarised the ideas aims, proposal and featured contingencies for overcoming problems. Despite feedback from previous tasks being extremely limited, this can be improved through careful planning, seeking advice throughout and practicing elements for enhancing the website. Here is a list of the references used within the presentation.